I'm Philip Farquharson, Network Programmer here at Eutechnics on NASCAR The Game in South Line. So this year on NASCAR The Game in South Line, we've been connecting to fans through various social media outlets. An example of this is Dave Thompson, the executive producer who's constantly been taking on board feedback throughout the development and that itself has had a great impact on the design and development process of NASCAR The Game in South Line. Users can expect to see a more smooth online gameplay experience. Cars will not jerk around and bump drafting can be done at close distance without spinning out the car in front or wrecking them. Another feature which was missing from last year's game was the infield garage. This is now included and within it the user can see an in-depth analysis of the pre-race sessions such as practice and qualifying. To aid the community's events and tournaments, we've introduced the ability to save online race results to the race shop within the game. In here the user can find a whole host of details such as best lap times, uh, positions, number of cautions caused, everything. In online gaming you always get players who set out to cause trouble for others. We've taken steps to prevent this by introducing ghosting. This means that a player who is sitting still on the track, driving backwards or constantly causing cautions will not be able to have an effect on the actual race cars. We know this will improve the experience online for everyone. We've added in more user definable settings for the race mechanics online, such as the user can select full damage but only no fuel consumption or visual damage and full fuel consumption basically anything that the user wants. New this year, we've added in the ability to obtain a did not finish or DNF result online. This can be caused by running out of fuel or overheating the engine or even ending up on fire. When this occurs, the car will keep rolling until it comes to a stop so you could potentially roll into pit road or even win the race. We've also made changes to the cautions online this year. One of the new additions is the feature quick cautions. Users will experience a shorter time spent under caution due to the removal of the replay whilst using this setting. Cars now pit in a more condensed fashion whereby the car is not seen rolling down pit road. This cuts about 30 seconds off the time overall for users who do not want to sit and watch replays online. But whilst some users prefer that, some users still want to do the full caution so they're still present and we've expanded upon that feature whereby under single file now, pitting is done via yes or no option. So if you see that the entire field is going to pit, you can pit at the final chance. This makes a great competitive strategy come into play based on what other players are doing and how it affects their position. The most fundamental part of online is ensuring that the network code is both stable and robust. We strive to great lengths both internally and with our friends at Activision to ensure we tested our network code in as many networks as possible to ensure the best online experience. We've worked extremely hard on NASCAR The Game in Southline to ensure that it's not only the best NASCAR experience, but the best NASCAR online experience. I will see you on the track soon.